how we long to bless your heart. Oh, how we long to know your heart. Oh, how we long to bless your heart. Oh, how we long to know your heart. Oh, I want to know your heart, oh God. To bless your heart, give us a new song. Give us a new song. Give us a new song. Oh, give us a new song to bless your heart. Give us a new song. Give us a new song, give us a new song to bless your heart. Oh, how we long to know your heart. Oh, how we long to bless your heart. Give us a new song. Give us a new song, and let there be no reservations, no walls, but just an open door in my heart for you. Let there be no reservations, no walls. Just an open door in my heart for you. Let there be no reservations, no walls. Just an open door in my heart for you. Let there be no reservations, no walls. Oh, but just an open door in my heart Because I want to give all that's inside of my heart I want to give all that's inside of my heart to you I want to give all that's inside of my heart I want to give all that's inside of my heart to you. Let there be 
No reservations, no walls. But just an open door in my heart for you, let there be no reservations, no walls. But just an open door in my heart, cause I want to give all side of my heart. I want to give all that's inside of my heart to you. I want to give all that's inside of my heart. I want to give all that's inside of my heart to you. No walls. Let this be a living sacrifice. Let this be my living sacrifice. Oh, I'm going to give you all my heart. Give you all my heart. Oh. 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 oh, you're searching for a yeah. sons and daughters will say yes. Oh, your eyes are looking to and fro. Oh, which ones will say yes to you? Which ones will say yes? Which ones will say yes to you? Which ones will say yes? Oh, which ones will say I'll give it all to you? Searching for lovers, 
See you 
worshiping a God that's not you. I don't want to waste my time praying to a God that's not you. Oh, let me see you rightly. Let me see you rightly. Oh, let me see you rightly. of the chaos you speak you speak above all the noise 
you speak above all the action you speak above all my thoughts and worries you speak above all my fears and insecurity you speak above all my hesitation and my doubt you speak above every noise above every noise you speak you speak you speak and I know I can hear your voice to you move me closer to your heart move me closer closer to you move me closer to your heart I don't want anything to be between you and me, open up my heart to you, flow to me, remove all the walls. I want
To let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. I wanna be unmovable and unshakable. To let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. I wanna be unmovable and unshakable. So let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. I want to be unmovable and unshakable. So let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in Unmovable and unshakable in you. I wanna be unmovable and unshakable. So let my roots go down deep. Unmovable and unshakable in you. I wanna be unmovable and unshakable. So let my roots go down deep. Unmovable and unshakable in you. I wanna be unmovable and un
unshakable, so let my roots go down deep, unmovable and unshakable in you. And I want to be like a tree planted by the streams of living water.
Make my roots go deeper. Make my roots go deeper. Oh, gonna live by living water. Oh, I'm gonna stay.
place I would rather be. No place I would rather be. Here in your love, here in your love. No place I would rather be. No place I would rather be. No place I would rather be. Here in your love, here in your love. Jesus, here in your love, here in your love. Your love changes everything. Your love changes everything. Just one revelation of you. Just one glimpse of you, Jesus. Jesus. It's enough to change my world. It's enough to change my world. Oh, one look at you, one glance at you, Jesus. Oh, you are. me in your love, baptize me in your love, baptize me in your is my revelation Christ Jesus crucified salvation through repentance at the cross on which he died now hear my Solution, forgiveness for my sin. And I sink beneath the waters that Christ was buried in. And I will.
is you are is and declare your rule and reign my life confess your lordship and glorify your name your word it stands eternal your kingdom knows no end your praise goes on forever and on and on again no power can stand against you no curse has sought your throne no one can steal your glory for it is yours alone i stand to sing your praises i stand to testify for i was dead in knows no end your praise goes on forever and on and on again no power can stand against you no curse has sought your throne no one can steal your glory for it is yours alone i stand to sing your praises i stand to testify for i was dead in Jesus, we place our trust and our hope in what you and you alone are able to do. We thank you, Jesus. Everything you've done in our lives already is a testimony of your power over death, your power over sin, and your ability to raise us up to be sons and daughters of God. We thank you for your saving grace your restoring power. And we trust that you will finish everything that you've started in us. We thank you, Jesus. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this hour, we're going to shift gears uh, into a time of intercession. There's a lot that is happening in America at the moment. Uh, a lot of racial tension, a lot of uh, political turmoil happening, especially escalating uh, right before the presidential elections. And we as God's people, we cannot just stand and wait for things to pan out and just see how things turn out. But we feel that there's a call for the house of God, for God's people to rise up in intercession, for us to pray out God's heart. Often in our lack of understanding and often in our lack of words we don't really know exactly what to pray we don't see with clarity at times we don't know exactly what 
God's will is or God's plan is behind all of it. But if we remain silent because of the fear of praying the wrong thing, I feel like we've missed the point. Because often it's in the place of prayer where God gives us his heart. And so for us to refrain from praying until we get clarity, um, it's just not God's heart for his people. We're going to trust that as we declare things that are, are on his heart, things that are, are unchanging, we'll be able to tap into God's heart for America. This is regardless of who gets elected. This is regardless of how things pan out. We know that God is faithful and God is able to accomplish everything that he has set out to do. So tonight we'll be praying from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. So if you have your Bibles with you, I encourage you to open them up, open up your scriptures to Isaiah 58. We'll be praying from this chapter for America. Isaiah 58, shout it aloud, do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their rebellion and to the house of Jacob their sins. For day after day, they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways as if they were a nation that does what is right and has not forsaken the commands of its God. They ask me for just decisions and seem eager for God to come near them. Why have we fasted, they say, and you have not seen it? Why have we humbled ourselves and you have not noticed? Yet on the day of your fasting, you do as you please and exploit all your workers. Your fasting ends in quarreling and strife and in striking each other with wicked fists. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for man to humble himself? Is it only for bowing one head, one's head like a reed and for lying on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast? A day acceptable to the Lord. Is not this the kind of fasting I've chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke. To set the oppressed free and break every yoke. Is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter when you see the naked to clothe them? and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood. Then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear. Then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Then you will call and the Lord will answer. You will cry for help and he will say, here am I. If you do away with a yoke of oppression, with a pointing finger and malicious talk, and if you spend yourselves on behalf of the hungry and satisfy the needs of the oppressed, then your light will rise in the darkness and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Your people will rebuild the ancient ruins and will raise up the age-old foundations. You will be called repairer of broken walls, restorer of streets with dwellings. If you keep your feet from breaking the Sabbath and from doing as you please on my holy day, if you call the Sabbath a delight, a 
in the Lord's holy day honorable. And if you honor it by not going your own way and not doing as you please or speaking idle words, then you will find your joy in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your father Jacob. The mouth of the Lord has spoken. Lord, we acknowledge that there are many things that are happening in our midst that we don't fully understand. We see how many of our sins that we thought we'd get away with are now catching up to us. We see how in your mercy you were patient, but in your love you will still discipline us so that you would, we would turn back to you. Your eyes see past our good deeds and our pious words to the heart of the matter. And in our silence in the face of injustice, in our complicit agreement with oppression, we have not honored your heart and your ways. And yet you long to answer us if we turn. You long to save us and say, here am I. You long to guide us in the midst of confusion. You long to satisfy our needs and allow us to flourish in the midst of the chaos. You long to see us rise up as a voice of justice, compassion, courage, and truth. You long to see your people taking on the same works of light that you occupied your very hands with when you walked on this earth, Jesus, loosening the cords of the yoke setting the oppressed free. You long to see us do away with a yoke of oppression. You long to purge from us the pointing finger and malicious talk. You long for your church to look like you and spend itself on behalf of the hungry instead of growing complacent in, your com in our comfort. Father, we pray that our ears would be open to your word today. That in our pride and in our stubbornness, we not be hardened against your words, against your warnings, against your discipline. That we would be a people of humility that can hear the voice of the shepherd urging us to turn back to you. Whether we in this room are American or not. Our hearts long to see your people turn back to you. Our hearts long to see a church that speaks your words and carries your heart. Father, have your way in us. Father, break us if you must. Prune us if you must. Just don't let us go our own way. Build our own kingdoms. Lift up our own names. But teach us your way everlasting. You alone are our shepherd. You alone we trust. Long to see 
is turning to you, God. Turning of the heart that you desire. Break through our pride. Turning of the Break through our arrogance. You require. Break through our hard heartedness. Turning of the heart that and humility. You May we return to you. Turning of and brokenness. May we turn to you. you you long to it's see us turn to you. Of the heart that you, you long to see us turning back to you, Father. Of the heart your ways, you your words. It's a turning of the heart that you bring us to repentance, God. The turning of the heart that you require. Break through hardened hearts. Bring us before the throne of grace. Bring us before the one who can do immeasurably more than we can ask for or imagine. Bring us before the one who gives us chance after chance. desire this is your desire to see us turning back to you God this is your on your children. You long to shine your light upon your people. You long to pour out your healing upon a nation. It's not the end of the story yet. story come finish 
finish what you started. Finish what you started. Finish what you started in the hearts of your children. Come finish what you started. Come finish what you started. Come finish what you started in the hearts of your children. Come finish what you started. Finish what you started. Come finish what you started. Do what you must. Come finish what you started. Accomplish everything you've set out to do. In the hearts of your children. Come finish what you started. In your light. Come finish what you started. Will break forth like the dawn. Come finish what you started. And your healing will quickly appear. In the hearts of your children. In your righteousness will go before you. And the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. Come finish what you started. Then you will call. In the hearts of your children. And the Lord will answer. Come finish what you started. You will cry for help. Come finish and he what will you say, started. Come finish what you here started. Here am I. In the hearts of your children. Oh. Come finish what you started. Oh. Come accomplish everything you've set out to do. Your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. never fail. Hold on to your word. A word is everlasting. Hold on to your promise. We'll stand from age to age. Hold on to your word. The nations will hear of your words. Hold on to your promise. The nations will know of your promises. Hold on to your word. We hold on in hope. We hold on to your We hold on in faith. We hold on to your word. Your word is our anchor. We hold on to your promise. Is a light unto our path. We hold on to your word. It's a lamp unto our feet. We hold on to your promise. Your word will guide us. We hold on to your word. Your word will lead us through. Hold on to your promise. We hold on to you, O oh God. We hold on to your word. Every word, life. Hold on to your promise. Every promise, life. What else do we have to hold on to but your word, but your promise? We know all hope is not lost. We know that all hope is not lost. All hope is not lost. We know that all hope is not lost. For you are faithful, God. You are faithful from age to age. Oh, this hope is an anchor for my soul. Jesus, your hope is an anchor for our souls. Jesus, your hope is an anchor for our souls. Jesus. Your hope is an anchor for our souls, Jesus. Jesus. Your hope is an anchor for our souls, we anchor Jesus. Ourselves in your hope. Your hope is an anchor for our souls, never failing. Jesus. Your hope is an anchor for our never souls, 
calling, Jesus. Jesus, your hope is an anchor for our souls. Never failing, Jesus. Your hope is an anchor for our souls. When everything shakes around us, Jesus. Hope is an anchor we have a firm foundation. For our we stand souls, upon a solid Jesus, rock. Your hope is an anchor for our Jesus. souls. Jesus, our hope is your in hope you. Hope is an anchor for our souls. Jesus, 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 Jesus light of the glory shines forth O light of the world let your glory break forth like the dawn light of the world let your glory shine forth O light of the world let your glory break forth like the dawn oh with healings with healings with righteousness let your glory break forth like the dawn O light of the world you're the light of the world you're the light of the world you're the light of the world show us your glory Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Shine your light upon us. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Shine your light. Show us your glory. Shine your face upon us. Show us your glory. Your light will break forth. Show us your glory. Like the dawn. Cause it's all for your glory and your healing will quickly it's appear all for your glory it's all for your, your righteousness glory. will go before it's all you for your glory. And the glory of the Lord it's all for your glory will be your rear guard it's all for your glory. then you will call and the Lord will it's all answer for your glory. you will cry for help it's all for your glory. And he will say it's all for your Hear glory it's all, it's all your for your glory. glory. Show us your glory. Show us your glory, God. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Show us your glory. Oh, we will cry out. We won't stop crying out. And you will answer. And you will say, Here I am. And you will take away the yoke from our midst. Oh, as we pour ourselves out. As we turn to you, you will say, here I am, and you'll pour out your glory, you'll pour out your glory, you'll pour out your glory. Yeah. Then your light will rise in the darkness, pour out your glory, and your night will become like the noonday. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame.
us your glory, God. If we have forgotten, remind us of who you are. Show us your glory, God. your glory come forth. Oh, let your glory come forth. Do what you have to to get your glory. Do what you have to to get your glory. Lord, do what you have to 
get your glory to what you have to to get your glory have your way oh god God, we trust in your ways, even when we don't understand, even when we can't see with clarity. We trust that your hand guides us all the days of our life. Lord, you are light. In you, there's no darkness at all. If we have forgotten, if we have strayed, remind us once again of who you are. Show us your glory. Shine your light upon your people. That we would turn. And that we would be saved. We thank you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. be going into time of intercession and we'll be lifting up the church of america at this time although there's a lot of room for a disagreement and discussion one thing that we can agree on is that the church cannot yield to the same political spirit the same slandering and mudslinging spirit that the world is yielding to at this hour we'll be praying that god would be using this time in american history for the good of those who love him that despite the enemy's attempts to destroy the church's witness at this hour, it would be the time for the church to arise in greater humility and strength and conviction. The first topic will be for strengthening in doctrine. Father, as a church, we confess that there are times when our doctrine and our commitment to the truth is often shaky. We're quick to compromise our beliefs for the sake of acceptance. We're slow to embrace your wisdom. We're hesitant to stand in the face of opposition. But we pray that this would be the hour for your church to turn once again to your word. As in the days of King Josiah, where in the midst of controversy and shifting opinions, you turned an entire generation back to your truth. We pray that instead of compromising our faith, true believers would once again be fascinated and captured by the power of your word that can destroy strongholds of the enemy we pray that believers would renew their commitment to it may we not rely on our clever arguments and our limited understanding in a day when truth and divine wisdom are needed we pray against the fleshly desire to use your word to simply back up our beliefs but in humility and boldness May your sons and daughters submit under your word instead of using it for leverage or justification. We repent of our neglect and underestimation of your word. And we ask that you would strengthen us once again in your truth. Let's pray. All these things that are shaking, there's one thing that will not be shaken. We thank you, God, that your word remains forever. It stands true today as it did 2,000 years ago. Thank you, Father. That your word is just as relevant. It is just as infallible, Lord God, as it was 2,000 years ago. I thank you, God. In the midst of all the shakings, Lord God, your church will turn to the one thing that cannot be shaken, Lord God, the truth that still remains. The truth that still remains. Father, we repent, Lord God, if we have neglected the study of your word. We've neglected the meditation upon your word. We've simply relied, Lord God, on being spoon-fed by somebody else. We repent, Lord God, if we have Lord God, if we haven't known your law for ourselves, if we have delighted in your law day and night, we have planted ourselves, Lord God, as trees beside the streams of living water. We pray that this will be the hour, Lord God, in church of time. Now, once again, to your church, to open up your word, Lord God, that you would breathe fresh life, Lord God, and upon your word, Lord God. And if people, Lord God, are more tired, Lord God, people are more weary, Lord God, in the fight. Lord God, remind us once again that we're empowered by. 
Second, we'll be praying for a witness in integrity. First Timothy 6.12 says, Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and about which you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Father, we repent for the times when in an effort to please men and to defend ourselves, we give in to the temptation to conform to the ways of the world. Jesus, we often buckle under the pressure to give an answer. We often oversimplify the ramifications of the gospel that you so boldly lived out here on earth at such a high cost. Our allegiance is to you. And on the day of judgment, we will not be held accountable by any man, but it will be before your eyes like fire that we will have to bear account of our deeds. We pray that at this time, believers in America will strengthen their witness and integrity, a people who cannot be bought for their votes and who will not bend to the best offer from a politician or legislator. Father, we pray that you would uproot the deception of a shallow version of cultural Christianity where the cost is low and the comforts are high. But would Christ's followers be emboldened to swim against the current? We pray for strength to resist temptation, intimidation, and false accusations. Mirror people fight the good fight of faith in times of turmoil and political unrest, both leading up to the presidential elections and also once the future president is elected and takes office. We pray for boldness. We pray for integrity and strength on this day. Let's pray. all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another 
Father, we come against a divisive spirit in Jesus' name. We disallow the works of the enemy to sever the body of Christ, where it takes so little for our unity to be shattered and for the churches to yield to the ways of the world and speak against one another. We pray that despite differences in opinions, that the body would not turn against itself. We pray for there to be humility in heart, even as there is boldness in speech. We lift up the different efforts of reconciliation ministry, the attempts to unify the body through common causes and platforms that facilitate dialogue within disagreement. And we pray that our cry as a church would be that it would take a lot more than a presidential election for our unity to be destroyed. We speak against the enemy's attempt to steal, kill, and destroy the testimony of a united church. And we lift up church leaders and Christian figures in the media that refuse to slander and gossip, but instead use their influence to inspire reconciliation and inspire unity. Let's pray.
church to grow in sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we confess that it is in times of confusion and shaking that you teach us once again that our formulaic attempts to put you in a box are deemed futile and our over-simplistic, legalistic ways are exposed. We so often want to know what you think without having to relate to you. We so often want to speak on your behalf as a church without having sought your counsel. But we pray that it would be in these times of confusion and lack of clarity that your church wouldn't turn to hopelessness, but instead turn to listen to your voice in the midst of all the noise and all the static. Awaken the prophetic ear in the church once again. Cast out spiritual deafness and blindness from the church and give us the gift of hearing your voice once again. We admit our shortcomings and our need for your guidance to navigate these times. And we pray that you wouldn't leave us to our hard-heartedness and our stubbornness, but you would soften our hearts to hear you once again. We come against the religious spirit that quenches the work of the spirit in the church. And we also come against our immature refusal to study and trust in your word. We pray for faith and assurance in the Holy Spirit's guidance and provision to both understand and also follow through on what you speak, Holy Spirit. Let's pray. presume to understand everything or have 
a monopoly on the answer, but we look to you for our hope. We look to you for our guidance and our strength when we grow weary and tired. In the midst of all the political turmoil that is taking over America, we pray that your church wouldn't just survive and return to the status quo, but we pray that your bride would be purified. She would be strengthened and emboldened, empowered by your Holy Spirit. No matter what the result of the presidential elections, we pray that our witness would be the same. A church that is strengthened in our doctrine, a strong witness of integrity in the face of political games and mudslinging, a church that doesn't give in to division and animosity, but that instead stands united in our common beliefs, and a church that is once again sensitized to the, to the voice and to the guidance of your Holy Spirit. Bring us to the place of repentance, that we could be forgiven and cleansed. Bring us to the low place of humility, that we would be strengthened by you. Teach us to see the plank in our own eye before being so quick to point out the speck in the world's eye. May your church be a city on a hill in times of darkness and confusion. This is the bride that you have died for. Have your way in her. Prepare her for what's to come. Do whatever pruning, whatever testing, whatever comforting and strengthening you need to do to have your pure and spotless bride on that day. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you all uh, so much for coming out and joining us. Um, it's good to see so many people um, come out and, and just press in for God's heart uh, for America. Um, and yeah, as Pastor Susie was uh, praying and saying, uh, it's, yeah, it's really an important time for the whole body of Christ to be contending, to be standing in the gap for America and for the church. Um, so I hope that you gained more of an understanding today and more of God's heart um, and hopefully feel a little less intimidated by the topic um, and feel encouraged to uh, take this back to your own prayer closets and continue to pray uh, for America. Hope that you are blessed, and um, yeah, we invite you to come back next week. We'll continue to pray for America um, on Wednesday morning. Actually, it'll be um, Tuesday evening in the States, which is Election Day itself. Uh, so we have the watch at 9.30 in the morning. So it'll be like live for the elections, and then uh, on Thursday evening again um, at 8 p.m. So hope you can make it out again. See you next week.